Oh. Damn it. Hey, everybody. My name is Tim Black. You, <laughs> you know who I am. Welcome to Extra Innings with Tim Black and Mrs. Black. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us for Extra Innings. Extra Innings, Extra Innings. And yo, guys, if you miss episode 18, if you miss episode 18 of the Tim Black Show, you need to go watch it. Uh, we killed it. But Mrs. Black really killed it. Like, I killed it, then she killed it, killed it. It is done. So, so go watch that. <laughs> Uh, then come back and watch this because this is the bonus to that. But wow, this is going to be a barn, barn burner too because someone on Facebook, someone DM me. They said, Tim, we need you to talk about Just Hilarious. So I'm down for it, man. I want all the smoke. Comedian Just Hilarious got into it. She responded to a video. Video was done by a trans woman who has some criticism for cis women. And uh, she said that they do not own, they don't own womanhood. They don't own, cis women do not own womanhood. They don't own menstruation. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that's all she said. Well, Jess Hilarious got upset, obviously, which triggered her. And she made a video where she said a number of things. Mrs. Black, you remember what she said? (laughs) She was, um, she pretty much said, who's protecting us? Yeah. Who's protecting women? Um, yes, we are the gatekeepers of the um, some of the topics that the uh, I believe <laughs> the, the one who who initiated the conversation is a comedian as well. T. S. Madison. Yes. Okay. She's, okay. she's a comedian as well, and um, she just said some things that really didn't make much sense to me either. Um, it's like you're gonna be who you're gonna be, but there are certain things that you can't do um, just naturally. <sighs> you know what you were you know, God given. So I don't really understand where the rant came from. Um, I don't understand the fight against actual real women or why this was even a conversation, but I am glad that um, just hilarious um, jumped in and, and made some really good points um, about what this um, Matt Madison, Madison? T.S. Madison. Yes, yes. Madison was saying so. Yeah. Kudos to Jess Hilarious for, you know, towing the line and um, representing women. Women. Yeah. Obviously, I love women. <laughs> I'm married to one. Was raised by one. And I had a dad, too. Um, and actually helped create some. So, or at least create one. Um, so, yeah, I, I definitely support women. But more than that, man, I'm looking at this thing now and I'm saying, why did this thing get so big? Mm. You know, why, why did it come, become such a big issue? So someone, 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 I'm thinking this is what happened. This is just me guessing. I think T.S. Madison saw a post that pissed her off. She went live or she made a video where she went on one. She went ham. She's like, ah, you women don't, you know, because, you know, ah, you women don't own this. You don't own that. She went ham. Then Jess saw that and she went ham. And that was all it took, right? So now people are coming after Jess saying that she was, uh, you know, um, I forget the word for it, but um, <clears throat> it's a word, a, a turf, a turf, a person that's against, that's against trans women or something. Uh, I forget the, what the term means. I just know it's negative. Folks, black men, black men who are then transitioning to women, you are still a man. Though you may, like, you are still, you are still, you still got to respect women. Like, regardless of your sexuality, regardless of your orientation, or what you assign yourself, or whatever, or how you identify, we have to respect each other. Yeah, we should respect each other. You should not diminish women because of your transition. You don't get to replace women, you get to be yourself. And whatever that is to you, cool. I'm 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 a let... I'm a free, let people live, live and let live. That's the kind of person I am. Am I up on everything? Am I am I like aware of all the nuances of how things have changed over the course of my year, um, course of my lifetime? No. But it's not out of disrespect. It's not like I'm out here trying to hurt people's feelings or you know to uh, to minimize whatever they're going through. I already know life is hard. I've been here long enough to know life is hard. I may not understand your particular plight, but I know life is hard. And I take you at your word that you're going through some shit. My point is, 
Don't come after don't come after women. Cis women do not deserve this type of yeah. If anything, women is cis women and trans women should be cool. Like I know I know gay men and cis women are cool. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going. I I don't know what's happening here. I never hear that gay gay women have a problem with cis men to this extent. So really, what's going on? I think there's a little bit of testosterone going in with the, <laughs> with the. You know what I'm saying? Because why y'all, why you be beefing with our cis women? Yeah, it's like they've been invited to the party, but now they want to be the host, and you can't be the host. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> you had, <laughs> you had mentioned um, the term turf. Yeah. Turf is an acronym for trans exclusionary radical feminist. This term was first recorded in 2008 and was originally used to dis distinguish transgender inclusive feminists from a group of radical feminists and social conservatives who reject the assertion that trans women are actually women. So. Okay. No, nah, we don't. No, nah, I'm not a turf. I don't. I don't reject that you are who you say you are, and whoever you claim, whoever you want to be. I'm down with you being whoever you want to be. I just saw a video. Mrs. Black, I saw a video where a grown man paid twenty thousand dollars <laughs> to have a costume made so he could be Lassie, a collie. And those, if you, if we're dating ourselves, Lassie was a dog. Oh damn, Lassie was a dog. All you old people know what I'm talking about, but you young people may not know. Lassie was a dog, a border collie, and and this guy, like you go go find it. It's on. TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. It's out there. It's a video of this guy wearing a costume like he's a dog. He's being walked. He's on all fours in a costume. Mimicking an animal. Mimicking a canine. Hey! Cool! Right, his freedom. That's what he wanted to do. He spent his money. <laughs> I don't know how he gonna go to the bathroom, but hey, 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 hey. It ain't up to me to decide who you are, if that's what you say you are. So if I can let him be that, of course, of course, I'm not comparing you to the dogs, but I'm saying I'm open-minded. Do you. Exactly. That's all I'm Do saying. You. Do you, Johnson, if that makes you happy. The problem is, don't go saying I woman, I cis woman. Don't tell me Mrs. Black ain't a woman. I don't know if she owns womanhood. I've heard some. I've heard some good arguments. Don't get me wrong, Mrs. Black. There've been some arguments made about how going back to colonial times, going back to slavery times, they didn't consider black slaves, black female slaves, to be women. Mm -hmm. Womanhood was reserved for white women. Right. So I get. I get that. But guess what, Johnson? Way back in slavery times, I know you wanted to be. I understand. Encyclopedia head. Doctorate brain. I get it. You got a big doctorate brain and you're all up on all the latest he, the pronouns and you, you know, you want to enlighten us dummies, but we're not in the 1700s or the 1600s. We not no, it's 2023, Johnson. I know I talk a lot about the plight of black people and I'm aware of how black women were treated, but we are now here. And you don't get to say that black women or any women any cis women are not women. They are women. You women too, but you as women with accessories. And I'm fine with that. I wish you the best. I hope you enjoy life. But let's cut the shit. You ain't having no periods. And if you don't have a period, it doesn't mean you're not a woman. Right. So people are like, well, there's some people who can't have periods. Some women can't have periods. Okay. We have a, vis what is it? A vis what is it? I don't know. Is that operation where you Stuff gets me, yeah, whatever. I'm going to get too graphic. But I get it. Okay, I understand. There are people that, you know, cis women who don't have periods. What they were trying to do, Mrs. Black, they're trying to take away the way that you would define womanhood. Yeah, I just, I, I do claim womanhood. I do own it just because that's who I am. That's who I identify as. Um, you know, all these years that I've been on this earth, that's who I am. Um, and that's what I choose and prefer to be. Um, and like you said, to others who wish to be something else, that is your choice. However, don't try to step over the line of taking any ownership of what you are trying to be or attempting to be that you are not naturally 
and taking steps with that and causing confusion and all of this uproar over who's the gatekeeper and who's not. You're certainly not. Um, re regardless of what you wear, what you put on and who you identify as, if that's who you want to look like, that's who you want to be, that's your choice. Right. But you can't naturally be something that you weren't naturally created to be. Right. Um, yeah. And now I know, now I really get this, this, this idea that the LGBT, the LGBTQ community is like, look, man, there's a different school of thought. So not only do cis people feel this way, there have been, a, there's a, there's a spectrum. There's a lot of people um, who are gay who feel this way. There are people that are bi that feel this way. So, you know, people that are non-gender conforming may feel this way. Agree with us or agree with the notion that a woman is a cis woman is a woman and a trans woman is a trans woman, but that's not the same thing as a cis woman. These are different categories. And that's okay. I got, like I'm somebody who feels like trans people should be able to compete in sports. They should have their own leagues. Right. We should we gotta make room for one another. Exactly. But you don't replace women. Right. <laughs> no, you don't replace women now. You know what I've been through with this one over here? You realize that? You can't come replace, you know, no, no. So why are we even talking about this? Why is this a conversation? We don't need this dialogue. Look, we don't need this dialogue. Trans folks got enough issues that they got to deal with in society. I've been, I've been hearing about, it. okay, these laws been changed. They're directly adversarial towards the trans community. These things are impacting them. Um, hate crimes, discrimination, all these things. We don't have time for this shit. Why is this a conversation? So I saw Laverne Cox. You know Laverne, your, your friend Laverne Cox? Yes, I love her. Everyone loves Laverne yes. Cox. Laverne Cox was pissed off, man. She was in tears yelling. I was watching the video before the show, and she was like, why are we talking about this? Why are you doing it? Why are we here? We need to be there for each other. Laverne, why don't you call out T.S. Madison, who started this shit, and call her out by name and say, hey, calm down, motherfucker. <laughs> Calm down. Let's look. It's between. First of all, it's between two comedians beefing with each other. First of all, let's keep it a buck. Now I know we are broadening the conversation now, but for real, for real, those two comedians don't like each other. They've been talking shit to each other back and forth, from what I understand. But I looked at a little bit now. I read a couple of articles that said they were going back and forth in each other's DMs. Mm. At least T.S. Madison alluded to that in one of her comments and one of the threads. I think it was on Instagram. That was one of her posts. That she let Jess slide on this and that. And she would jump and test Jess's DMs and talk to her privately about why she said this or said that. Whatever. It sounds like I got personal beef. And now the rest of the world is collateral damage. And that's just wrong, Johnson. Yeah. So that's why I'm coming up on it. But if I'm, look, don't look. Trans people, let's not make this a thing where we got to choose. But you're asking cis men to choose between you and cis women. Mm. You're going to lose that battle. Hey, hey, T.S., you're going to lose, Johnson. You're going to lose. Let's not even have a battle. Let's not, let's not even do it. Let's all win. Right. Let's respect each other. And let's say you in your lane, they in their lane, I'm in my lane. I'm trying to stay in my lane. I wasn't going to cover this. But the beauty of having Mrs. Black is not just she's a beautiful person. We can have different conversations where I can have the benefit of her counsel. Mm -hmm. And she can weigh in with her voice. So I ain't mansplaining. So I'm not mansplaining. Right, Yana Presley? I'm not mansplaining uh, to her <laughs> or to the rest of the world what I think. Mrs. Black is a is a um, under popular unpopular um, demand, um, but yeah, man. So, and I think it's I think it's this, I think it's uh, disappointing, right, that they let personal beef go this far. And I know it's great for the news cycle; people get to make some money and get to make some video content. But dog, it's just just two people that don't like each other talking shit, and then they did they drag in a whole group of people. So, yeah. I wonder what Anna Kasparian is thinking right now. So, Anna Kasparian recently at TYT, 
uh, about, I guess, a few weeks ago, she said she was going to become a Republican or something. What? Yeah, like part of it was over this same conversation. Like she she had got dragged so hard for doing what Jess Hilarious just did, uh-huh. which is saying, because they were saying, like, it's very aggressive what a lot of these uh, trans women are saying. They were calling women bonus hoes. What? Yeah, they were saying that women had bonus, a bonus, you a bonus hoe, you a breeder, you a bonus hoe. Get it? Disrespectful, right? Yeah. So Anna got mad as shit. You should see Anna. Anna was pissed. Anna was like, I am not a bonus hoe. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a woman. How dare you? And blah, 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 blah. And then people were like, you know, they got to pretend like what Anna was upset about, she shouldn't be upset about it because they are progressives. So they got to hide behind language and act mm-hmm. like, oh, Anna's wrong. What is Anna talking about? Many of them are married to women. Right. And, you know, <laughs> and there's no equivalent, there's no equivalent disrespect for for cis men, right? There's no, like, there are no gay, there, I don't know, maybe there are gay women who say things about men, but when you're putting on a prosthetic to compete, none of your disses really hit home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, hey, you know, hey, hey. So (laughs) So that made her turn Republican. Nah, what made her turn Republican was money. (laughs) Let's keep it a buck fitty. It's money, Anna. You ain't fooling. I'm in the business. See, there are people that don't. I get it, man. You watch content, you're a consumer of the news. And you like Anna because you've been watching her for 15 years or 10 years or whatever. The money is on the right. Exit stage right. Yeah. Heavens to Mercatroyd. That's what it does. So that's really what it is. And 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 some of the progressives are jumping out the gym with some stuff. That's true. But come on, Johnson. Like, like becoming a Republican is the, maybe maybe I'm overselling it. Maybe it's not Republican, but she was leaving like the progressive, the progressive confines. Like mm. she's like, fuck this, I'm no longer gonna be these people. Mm. The right gets their bread and butter from the culture war. So there's a lot of money to be made from a Jess Hilarious conflict with T.S. Madison. It helps T.S. Madison and it helps Jess Hilarious. I wish the case was they got together and decided to do this. And there's really no hard too. feelings. We always had that thought in the back of our head. I would hope so. Yeah. But unfortunately, Jess went with the big guns when she said, men, what she say was, who the fuck is going to stand for us? Right. And us, I mean women, real women. Biological women, and she don't even talk like that. She's like, we're going to stand for real women, you know. Women who were born with all the parts that you guys wish that you were. Damn. That's hard, but it's real. That's hard and real. I can understand, you know, where that anger and where that emotion comes from. It comes from truth. It comes from truth. I wish somebody would say, I wish, I wish a, a, a lesbian would say, you know. <laughs> But throw it in the tall grass. Shout out to Dave Chappelle. <laughs> like, what? You men ain't nothing. You and, and there are some that's one thing. The internet has horrible people that say things they would never say in real life to a real person. People say some shit. We cannot jump out the room because of a comment that's made on Twitter or YouTube or Facebook. I know, I know, I gotta practice what I preach. I've been trying, Johnson. But uh, yeah. So for the record, I support Jess Hilarious. I support cis women. I also support trans women. I just support cis women more when it comes to this situation. You cannot replace us. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot replace Mrs. Black. Mrs. Black, and your support is you support. Oh, same. Absolutely. Only because, I mean, I am a true woman and I understand exactly where Jess Hilarious is coming from. Um... I can understand uh, Madison. Yes. For whatever she may have seen or read or heard, where her emotions may be coming from, but you really can't cross that line. That line is uncrossable. 
So you are who you are. Be who you are. I support who you are. Uh, but you need to stay in that lane of who you are. Um, so that's my take. Yeah. So. Hey, I know one thing, T.S. Madison. You better watch your mouth because I'm sure if you're a comedian, your audience is going to comprise mostly cis women. Like, I don't know how big of rooms, what kind of big you know shows you must be doing if you think you're going to be allowed only on the trans community to come out. So, kind of silly. Right, and then the trans community actually... Agrees. You know, exactly, on her side of, of this. <laughs> so, man, I think, you know, emotions got the better of you. Yeah. Emotions got the better of you, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> but that's it for extra innings. Is that it? That is it. Those, that was our only topic, and I think we um, just blew it out the water. I think we blew it Good out. Points. I think we did it. Points. We st- I stand on it ten toes down. This is the Tim Black's uh, Black Table with the one and only Mrs. Black killing it. Nothing but love for y'all. Be good. Have a great remainder of your weekend. Or the weekend's over. Uh, have a great Sunday. What's left of your Sunday, and uh, all that good stuff. Yeah. Have a great upcoming week. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Extra innings are bonus segments from Tim Black's Black Table Show with the Blacks. That's Tim Black and the amazing Mrs. Black. For early access to extra innings, become a paid member of the Tim Black Show at jointimblack.com. Ain't nothing like the real thing. Baby, join today. See you there, Wolfpack.